Hi, my name is Logan Harris, class of 2022. And in this video, you'll live a week of my Babson life with me. I'll be documenting it all. Right now it's about 9.30 and we should be heading over to our 9.45 class. It's consumer psychology. I'm super excited. So yeah, come with me. Let's get this week started. Woo! It is a beautiful day as we head up into the building, see some friends along the way. It's gonna be a great day. We made it. I'm right outside of the classroom right now. I have about a minute to spare. Uh, consumer psychology taught by Professor Hi C, AKA Chris the Hill Cummings. She is one of the best professors at Babson. And the class also overlooks the most beautiful, one of the most beautiful parts of campus, the Babson Commons. Right now, I got my classroom buddy and we're about to go in. So uh, I'll see you after class. Class just ended. Here's a look inside of our classroom. I ordered a coffee from Centennial Cafe's Starbucks. So now we're going downstairs to pick it up and spend some downtime in the commons. There's about a 15 minute break between classes. So I come here after consumer psychology and then I'm about to go to the sexual renaissance and my boy Jonathan over here comes and studies with me a little bit um, before we head to our next class, so. Basically here we go off on a tangent about the course taught by Professor Steven Spies and how it's a nice break from our traditional business classes. Yet the tools of creativity and entrepreneurial thinking allow us for the most interesting conversations, dissecting visual or literary art. And like any conversation with Jonathan, we venture off the topic to baseball. We're going to have some sunshine for Babson Baseball's home opener today. Yes. Um, it's going to be a great day and hopefully Babson gets a win and we have a great, great time reading, uh, reading some dialogues on uh, the sexual renaissance class. And we're off. We head to our 1130 class in Gerber Hall. Fun fact, the layout for this class enforces its discussion-based qualities. And poof, class is over. It is 1 p.m. Time to head over to the Undergraduate Academic Affairs Office. I'm on my way to work right now, but I had to stop at the Globe. It's a visual representation of the diversity we have on campus and also of the global leaders that Babson really trains us to be. And yeah, follow me to work, let's go. We continue to Hollister Hall, which houses a lot of important offices, whether that's study abroad, career services, and the best office, our office, where I clock in for the day. I made it to the office, so here's a quick montage of us doing some work for the honors program. We also do cool benchmarking projects, and honestly, the office is filled with some of my favorite people on campus. This office is a family. Love everybody here. So I just finished work and I'm walking through a hallway that connects two buildings, Hollister where I work and now we're going into Ray's. I think I'm craving sushi today, so we shall see if they have any. There's usually a lot of things going on in Ray's, whether it's boba tea sales, or finding out who's going to be our concert artist. Also, FME stands right here. This How's is, going? what's hey. your company called? So we're Safe Key, right? We're an over-the-door lockbox hanger. So you can keep your key in the lockbox and then you'll never lose it again. Getting locked out of your room is $25 and our product is the same exact price. Pause. I got so distracted by that awesome pitch that I forgot what I came here for. Sushi. As far as ordering food on campus, that is not trim, which is our dining hall. You can use your Babson One card, and that allows you to enter our sort of cafe convenience store and get full meals. You can get sushi, sandwiches, snacks, whatever you want. Or you can also order through the Boost mobile app, which is a really seamless way to order any food. It makes grabbing snacks on the go super easy. I'm about to head to my 4.30 meeting right now for a group project. Next time you'll see me, it'll be in the library. Rooms were pretty packed, so we find a table outside. So right now I'm in my group meeting for consumer psychology and I want to introduce you to my awesome team. I'm Spencer. I'm a marketing <laughs> major and I'm really having fun in this consumer psychology class with all of you. 
and he just got his wisdom teeth out. Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Miss Girl? I'm Aaliyah. <laughs> I'm a econ and social justice double major in Babson. A little bit for the people, a little bit for the business. It's a good combination. <laughs> I'm Danny. I'm majoring in entrepreneurship. I'm an exchange student from Mexico. Yay! <laughs> Last but not least. Bye. <laughs> so this is us watching a sketch we just made for our class. It's always a good time with this group. Post-meeting, Aliyah and I were feeling hungry, so we hit a local cafe to enjoy the rest of our night, nosh, and get some work done. Good morning, it is Tuesday morning. I woke up today at about 8.30 for a 9.45 class. Right now it's about 9.20, and I wanted to take this time to allow you to get to know a little bit more about me. So I am a global management and entrepreneurship concentration. I'm also a Sorensen art scholar, uh, which is specifically uh, the pursuit of combining arts and business. Uh, as something else about me is that I've been involved in a lot of different clubs on campus. Uh, I am a member of Delta Sigma Pi, a professional business fraternity, it's co-ed. Uh, you'll see that today. I have been a member and a resident in E-Tower for the majority of my Babson career. I also was a part of the Global Leadership Organization, uh, and I lived in Create as well, which is sort of this artistic housing on campus. I've really made the most of my Babson career because I loved it so much. I did a high school program for Babson and my diverse global team won the pitch competition at the end of that summer session and that's when I fell in love with Babson. I knew it was a school for me. It was a school in which I could succeed. I hope you enjoyed getting to know a little bit more about me, but let's go to Global Strategic Management. Now walking through Horn to get to Global Strategic Management. Here's a quick view of the class as we head out. So I just finished Global Strategic Management and I'm going to do some fueling up before the gym. I will see you at the gym. The walk to the gym is so nice. I pat the beaver on the head for good luck, obviously, and walk into the gym. So on the left hand side, you see a lot of Courts. They're usually busy with practices or intramural sports club meetings. And now a quick change for the gym. This space is beautiful. I'm usually here for an hour and a half, get some exercise in before my study session. So I just finished in the gym and right now I have a lovely study session in the library. Uh, what is your name, miss? I'm Mia from San Jose, California. Hey, hey and uh, who we got over here? Hi. <laughs> I'm Christina, I'm from Alaska. I am Ben, I'm from Uganda. And we are going to be studying for the next few hours and enjoying ourselves. So I'll see you after the study <laughs> session. Bye! <laughs> Leaving the study session early a bit to head into Hollister Hall, we're going to the Glavin Office of International Education, where I had a meeting to speak with Lo, an education abroad advisor, about some locations I'd been contemplating traveling to. Well, speaking of traveling, I got hungry and visited the local Linden Square to pick up a salad. Very good. Uh, I had another meeting for those interested in the Fulbright program. In Rays, and I see yeah. this. Katie, what is this? Hello, today we're having a CAB event. CAB is the Campus Activities Board. We do lots of fun giveaways, give out prizes and food. Today we have Taco Tuesday, and CAB always draws a whole lot of attention. As you can see here, these people have been waiting for at least 15 minutes. Look at this Something crowd. Ready. Let's go. Taco hey. Tuesday, CAB for the win. Thank you, Katie. Yeah, no quick change into business professional for our fraternity meeting. Hi everyone, I'm Serena, I'm a junior at Babson, and this is... Hi, I'm Hal Young, I'm a sophomore here at Babson. We're both interested in technology and entrepreneurship, and we're in Delta Sigma Pi, a professional business fraternity together with Logan. 
And right now we're at Trim before we go to Chapters. So come with me upstairs to the Chapter classrooms and we'll see you up there. Bye! After dinner, we head upstairs to our weekly chapter meetings where we have our community, our family, our professional development, and our fun. Today, we're headed to JP Licks to celebrate a new pledge class's initiation into the chapter, and we end things off with a photo. Welcome to Wednesday. On Wednesdays, we wear green at Babson, so you know I'm in my freshest Babson gear right now. Was it last night fun? I loved ending the night like that. I mean, my fraternity gives me so much joy. It's the perfect mix of social and business. As you saw, a new class was just initiated into the fraternity, and my own class, it's crazy to look around and see how far we've come, whether that be the internships that we've landed or the jobs that we're going to have post-graduation. Our fraternity does amazing things like Skillshares, networking events, guest speakers. I definitely loved my time last night and it's really great to be able to capture that and share that with you guys. I usually have class at 945 Consumer Psychology, but today uh, the professor gave us off to work on our group projects. So right now I'm about to go to my group meeting again for our presentations next week. And before I do that, I'm going to stop at Ray's to get a quick smoothie and yeah, so Come along with me and uh, I'll see you at the meeting. Well, me. Perfect, thank Have you so day. much, I appreciate it. Yay! Just picked up my smoothie on this beautiful day and now let's see the rest of the group. Here's a sneak peek into our team right now. We are about to film our dialogue on role congruity theory and its importance and relevance in the workplace. The course has given us insight into a wide array of consumer behavioral topics and biases. We even learned the psychology of humor. So if you laugh during this vlog, I may know why. With a little bit of smoothie left, we are off to the sexual renaissance, which will be my last class of the day. Right now, I am walking back to Mandel Family Hall, AKA MAP, which houses a lot of suites on campus. I'm going to pack a gym bag and head over to Ray's to pick up some food, uh, grab some packages in the mail room and then go to the library to get some studying in before dinner. Uh, it's always good to have some downtime and spend it in the library. I love the library a little too much. Uh, nerd moment. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so right now let's do that. A quick sweet tour. Here is my room. Open it, common area, full kitchen. Here are the rooms of our suite. The bathrooms were actually just cleaned. Perfect timing. We have a common area and then a shower. The facilities are great here. Here is the laundry room. It is located on the first floor, so right downstairs from me. And as you walk through the halls, you can see sort of how the apartment style suites are situated. Located on each floor is a study room and I love spending time in there. A few more steps and we are outside of MAP. To the right, you can start to see the Wiseman Foundry, which is a building that allows for collaboration amongst three colleges that are pretty close. Babson College, the Olin College of Engineering, and Wellesley College. You can collaborate and communicate whether it's for fun or for a class that combines all three universities. Heading into Ray's to get to the mail room. Fingers crossed, it's another fan letter from my mom. Love you, mom. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Package secured, we say goodbye and are ready to take on the rest of our day. A day that just got a whole lot better. Student government stopped me for wearing green to give me a prize. Wait, I love this. Yes! Two prizes. Two prizes? Are you kidding me? The day just cannot get any better than this. I picked the Pop-Tarts. Is that what you would have chosen? Let me know. Well, say goodbye to SGA and thank them so much for making my day. Now we're off to grab our food and head to the library.
So I've been studying at Horn and something really cool just happened to me. It happens a lot when you're at Babson. Basically, I'm in my little cubby in the library. So you'll have friends or acquaintances come up and strike a conversation. And the quality of the conversation is just, it's just amazing. I mean, Babson houses students of such varied perspective and experience that conversations are never typical. Hey, how are you? I was just talking to Levi, a student that I was going to go on a study abroad program with, and we were discussing his travels. I mean, he's been to Tanzania, to Cairo, uh, places in South Africa, New Zealand, and just hearing his stories from those places, and he's just such a great example of the, the quality of students at Babson that it's really hard to find anywhere else. Babson is so close and tight-knit that it allows for you to gain perspectives a lot easier. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna finish studying a bit and then I'm going to head to the gym. So I will see you there. Heading into Brack, you can see the courts are pretty full with clubs or practices or just pick up basketball games. But today we're not here for basketball. We're here to get a quick workout in before dinner. A trim dining hall takeover to remember. Pause to look at the assortment of Singaporean inspired food that Trim offered today. The events at our dining hall are yum-tastic. You name it, we have done it. Whether that's Mardi Gras celebrations or lobster nights, Trim has such diversity and flexibility in its cuisine. So we stayed at Trim until it closed because I was just so carried away with this one. <laughs> she loves to be present with me. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow for Thursday's vlog. Anything to say, Lynn? Bye. <laughs> Right now, I'm about to go to Global Strategic Management with Professor Sam Hariharan. I love his course so much because he has such an intricate teaching style where he playfully challenges students. He'll ask you questions to your responses like why you think that's important or why that adds value to the specific case or company that we're working on. And the environment becomes fun and super engaging. And after that course, I'll hit the gym and then I'll take my second class of the day, which is IDA. I'll see you soon. As the age-old saying goes, a little rain never stopped a Babson student from heading to global strategic management. That's how the saying goes, right? Had a gym session between my two classes. Oh, that shirt is awesome. Where'd you get that, Logan? Anyway, I'll walk right now to my second class of the day, just in time to get a snack from the vending machine available in Park Manor West, one of our dorm buildings on campus. I walked past this gorgeous amphitheater before heading into our gigantic classroom in which we are taking the ideate journey to generate over a hundred business ideas. So right now I'm on a break during my IDA course. The IDA course is taught by Professor Heidi Neck. She is a world-renowned accredited entrepreneur teaching entrepreneurship in the most fun way possible. It's a three hour long course, but it does not feel like that at all. We pitch ideas and we get rapid feedback. And throughout the entire course, we come up with loads of ideas. It's all about flexing your brain's muscle to be able to take any situation that you may come across to create ideas and to search for problems in your environment to create those solutions. I think Professor Heidi Neck just specializes in being able to ask the right questions to push for such value in the classroom. She's absolutely incredible. And yeah, I'll see you after class. Class is over, so we head to Ray's to meet with my friend Arushi. But walking into Ray's, we notice a really cool FME business that was giving away boba. 
Deborah, what do we have here? Hello, so this is our business in Finna Filter, our FME business. Um, this is our bottle. It's double insulated, so you can take hot water or cold water. It comes with an activated charcoal filter, which works to remove impurities from your water, helps it taste better, remove harmful toxins. And then as you can see in this bottle, you can also use it for tea as well, because it has a sieve at the top. So you can put tea in here, you can put fruits in here, and flip it upside down. Wow. And if you unscrew this part of your bottle, it turns into a cup. So this is our bottle in Finna Filter. If you buy one today, you get a free boba. These Babson students are so smart. There was a whole frenzy there that bought the product just for the tea. So I am at Ray's right now with the lovely Arushi. I wanted hey her guys. to introduce herself. My name is Arushi Singh. Um, a few things I do on campus. I'm a first year senator. I'm involved with Women in Finance, DSP, Kappa, and Women Who Lift. And yeah, we love to see it. And, and that's a wrap. <laughs> so I finished my meeting with Arushi. I did my hair. And right now, where are we going? We are going to Spring Concert Reveal. Uh, we're super excited. We're going to see who the artist is that's going to be performing for just us Babson students. Is it going to be Lil Yachty? I don't think so. We <laughs> shall see. We're going to Malloy Night Auditorium to see. And we'll show you around in the venue. This event was so cool. It had food, drinks, hacky sack, bean bag, seesaw swings, teeter totter, whatever you call them. It had everything. But to our surprise, it wasn't just cheat codes who'd be performing for us. And with that great news, a few friends and I head off campus to celebrate with some hot pot, a celebratory meal. We're at hot pot right now, and my friends wanted to say hello. With our bellies full, we are ready to head back to campus. See you tomorrow. Peace! And we made it to Friday! Yay! Friday is the last day of vlog content that I will be capturing. I know, very sad, but I have a great day to hopefully lighten your mood. Right now, I'm about to use Babson's Uber program, and that program allows for students to be able to be Uber to specific locations, either for free or on a discount. So right now, I'm about to Uber to the Wellesley train station. Our train destination is for Back Bay. Back Bay is known for Newberry Street, which has a lot of shopping, restaurants, and cafes, but it also has Boston Public Library, which is a beautiful spot that I am very eager to show you. I have my breakfast and my coffee and I will see you on the train. Just finished my breakfast at Cafe Nero. The train's coming right now and it's headed to Boston Public Library. Let's go! <laughs> and first thing on our list for the day was to grab some coffee. We took our coffee right back to Boston Public Library to catch up and watch some skating. Quick stop into the Prudential Center. There is so much to do in this building. Let me show you. We stumbled upon a store's grand opening. It had free drinks, Polaroid cameras, and even a cotton candy machine. We need to go back into the store that was having the grand opening so we can cheers with the drinks because we have the cheer shot from the coffee. So we need to do that again. We need to go get drinks. No. 
What? Cheers! With our mission accomplished, we head back on the street. Oh, yeah, I wish there was some live music out here. Me too, man. Let's oh, go see let's if see maybe, if there's, maybe there's anything over here. Oh my gosh, oh, wow. Oh, do you love me? <laughs> yeah. Do you love me? Yeah, we do. <laughs> we then see this late night cafe that doubles as a bookstore. We tuck into three cafes before we tuck her out in our last one. Midday recharge at the Thinking Cup before we head into Chinatown. <laughs> As the sun sets, we find ourselves in Boston Commons, which is a huge park. Let's give you a tour of the area. After the commons, we head through downtown Boston. We couldn't resist hitting one more late night cafe before we venture into Chinatown. Our food arrives and we give it 10 out of 10 stars. I hope you enjoyed uh, the entirety of my Babson week. Uh, thank you so much for coming along with me. And I hope this allows you to get a small glimpse into just one Babson experience. There's so much variety in student life and in student weeks. I was just able to show you mine, but I hope you enjoyed it. I think if you're thinking about Babson, you're thinking correctly. I absolutely love Babson. I've called it a home since high school uh, when I first visited. I know that I did not make the wrong decision. Babson is absolutely incredible and it's all I could have ever wanted. Definitely make the right choice. Be amongst this community. It is so unique and so incredible. I hope you can see yourself here and resonate with my excitement to be on this campus. Thank you so much for joining this week with me and I hope to see you on campus soon. Bye!